Tyron Woodley and Izzy Adesanya started going at it. I mean, that one that one kind of came out of nowhere. Woodley wasn't kidding, but let's say that he was. If you're looking for headlines, which are very easy to get right now, if you were a fighter and you were not in the headlines, you have done something wrong. When there is no fights going on and nothing to talk about, it is extremely easy to capture a headline. Most fighters are looking at this and saying, there's no fights going on, there's nothing happening, therefore I shouldn't be talking about anything. So I don't think that Tyron was having fun, but let's just say if Tyron was just looking for a headline, Adesanya is the perfect target. Because he is the champion of the world, he's the best fighter competing today, and he will always respond. If I wanted to be in a headline right now with Izzy Adesanya, he will make it happen. Believe me, he will not let anything just slide. Don't forget that he just fought Yoel Romero, who was coming off a loss and was not the true number one contender because he told Dana White, I want to fight that guy. Don't hold me being champion against me. I'm in the fight business. There's guys here I want to fight. I came into the right line of work. Don't punish me because of my success. Okay. But you're now seeing who a guy is. So if you want to get in somebody's wheelhouse, go after Adesanya. He'll let you in. Here's what's going to piss you guys off. Tyron Woodley would be a very hard match for Adesanya. And Tyron laid out his case. He goes, look, Adesanya doesn't like power. Now, Tyron has seen something that I'm not. I have never seen Izzy shy away from power, including 20 minutes of sparring footage that I caught on the internet of Adesanya going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Rumble Johnson. I've never seen what Tyron is speaking of, but if you do want to talk about somebody who's compact, that's Tyron Woodley. If you want to talk about somebody who greatly understands the footwork of his opponent, I'm talking about Tyron, but I think I have evidence if you just go back and watch not one, but both of his fights with Wonderboy Thompson. If you want to talk about somebody who has power, let's say Tyron's right on that argument. Tyron fits that bill. Not to mention he's got a great grassland aspect and he understands five rounds. Look, Tyron Woodley is a hard fight for Izzy Adesanya. One of the harder fights, as a matter of fact. I would go that far. That would be one of the harder fights. The hardest guy to fight is always the guy one weight class below you. He's just a little bit faster than what you're used to, and he can go just a little bit longer because he's carrying around a little bit less weight. So his endurance lasts a little bit less. Just the, the hardest guy to go with is always the guy one weight class below you. I'm not suggesting for you this fight is going to happen. I'm unpacking an interview that Tyron had talked about, so let's move on because he said Adesanya's down the road. He said, matter of fact, I'm not leaving 170 pounds till I do four more fights. So there's four guys, four specific matches that I need to do before I can hang my hat and say, I've cleaned out the division. He did not list who those four guys were, but if you back up to some other Tyron interviews as recently as three weeks ago, he has made it very clear. List number one, Colby Covington. I think that Tyron in many ways has lost interest in Leon Edwards. And in fairness, I'm not sure Tyron was ever interested in Leon. It was just what was being offered to him, and he wanted to go out there and get a match, and he was going to take on Leon. He said, I'll do it. I did my part. Show didn't happen. Okay, great. Let's move on. Colby, you're up. I think that that's the way it played out, at least in Tyron's mind. So let's say that he goes into Colby. Let's just say that he goes into Colby. Whoever comes out of that is going to qualify for a world title fight. Qualifying for a world title fight and getting the world title fight are two different things, but that's also a discussion for another day. I believe that Tyron in a perfect world would have his Kobe match. He would have his Kamaro match. And I don't think that anybody would want to leave without trying to get a little shine off of George Masvidal. And he would likely try to anoint Joy, uh, George to a number one contender. But now I'm guessing a little bit. I'm guessing who these four guys are. And I'm not eliminating Leon Edwards because Leon isn't a straight up stud. I'm eliminating Leon because I don't think that's how Tyron views him. And if Tyron is now saying there's four guys, I'm curious who those four are. I know I'm right on Colby, and of course, we know he'd like to get the Usman back. Does he then think he needs to have match number three with Usman, do the trilogy fight, prove his point, get two, two to one, and move on? I don't know. I'm curious. I'm not here to tell you or to start something between Tyron and Adesanya. They've done that themselves. I am here to share with you, should that match come about 24, 26 months down the road, that's a close fight. 